Hello everyone, this is Zayda Golami from Akimatsoft Research Company and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to create points in QGIS. So basically we are reviewing two methods in here. The first one is to actually create point layer from a CSV file. So um, you already have the coordinate like values of your points and now you want to add them to your Q to QGIS and make a point layer based on that file and the the second way is to actually draw that points in your Q QGIS map and wherever you want and then export that as as a layer as a map and um, and bring the coordinates with those uh, points okay so that's the two ways we are going to learn through this video but at first i should add that i am currently using qgis uh, version 3.18.3 and i have downloaded from and i have downloaded that from qgis official website if you want to you can watch my previous videos in agrimatsoft youtube channel about how to install and how to download qgis software of course those are those are two easy tasks but um, if you're so much beginner and you want you want to you can of course uh, go through it first of all in order to create points based on a csv file you need to first go to layer uh, option in here uh, and then go for add layer and add delimited text layer this window pops up the file name is actually to browse to your um to your file so my file is here is a csv file if you do not know how to make a csv file all you need to do is to open your excel file which you have listed your x and y um, coordinates and then as the file opens up you go to file uh, save as and choose the destination and in here only uh, you have to choose csv utf8 comma delimited and that will be okay and qgis can read that file okay so now i have my csv file comma delimited file i click open and you can see there are some options in here file format is csv if you do not have csv if you have uh, a text file you go for regular expression delimiter and then you should uh, define your expression okay maybe it's space maybe it's a comma or something else so i have csv that's straightforward uh, but in here it would be nice uh, if i also work with these text files and work with these delimiters and these kind of things so let's say i have a notepad and i want to just i want to copy all these uh, data in my notepad in order to have a text kind of file and see how to work with those delimiters okay so i just select all these data Control c Control v and let's say that's my data okay i keep it in my desktop and and i i've given a name i save that and close it so i go to my qgis again in this window i want to select this file instead of my csv okay so that's my file i click open and then you could see that it uh, automatically um identifies that that's a regular expression delimiter but the it, it could identify that it's expression delimiter okay but you can see that with comma 
it cannot understand these as separate columns. It it considers all these uh, data in one cell, not in three or four cells. Okay, so it's not correct. I go for custom delimiters, and in here you could see in tab, it could understand that these are separate columns, but not with semicolon or comma or any other. Uh, anything else also with space it doesn't understand that it's tab the delimiter in here is tab okay so then um that's for the how to how to work with these delimiters okay so i wanted to just make an example so i will get back to my own file which was a csv file um that's in here and it's csv and now in here record and fields options i have first record has field names checked because my first fill field has uh these labels okay so i check that and then geometry definition point coordinates i have so you can choose any other one i have point coordinates then uh, you should choose the X field and Y field, okay? From the fields you have, you should choose you should choose X and Y field, and then you go down to Geometry CRS. Um, in here, if you have DMS coordinates, you should check that I do not have DMS and geometry crs in here you should define your projection okay so i have before that i have chosen wgs um, 1984 utm zone uh, 40 north uh, if you if you check any of these ones if you select any of these ones you can see these this figure in here um which you can check where is that um, coordinate reference system covers okay so i have my zone 40 north and that's totally okay that's totally right so i click on that click okay and my project my um coordinate system shows up in here then you can see the sample data is shown in here which is right and i click add I click add and now my data is shown in here so let's turn on my satellite image in here I want Google hybrid maps and I want to check whether these points are added correctly which are totally correct and fine in here okay so you can check it out using uh, this plugins this google hybrid plugins if you do not know how to add that plugin you can watch my previous videos uh, titled how to open um, google maps in qgis etc go check them out now i have my points shown in here but the, this this is not a layer right now okay so i have just i i can now just observe my points in in this map area but i do not have um a standalone uh qgis layer file so what i should do is to um right click on that file and go for export and save features as so I have Esri shape file, which is okay for me. File name, I want to um, export as PCP. And layer, um, okay, file name, sh you should browse to your location also. So I will make a folder in here, QGIS points, let's say and i want the pcb file to be placed in this folder in here i click save and then the crs is totally fine then the geometry type is points for me okay then the default settings are okay i click okay 
Now you can see I have a standalone uh, QGIS layer file, a point layer file, okay, which is which I can remove it and then go for uh, add data, add vector layer, and in here I can choose my layer and I will add it and it will show up you can see the dots uh, if you cannot see them maybe with this color it's better okay so that was the first way now let's get into the second way the second way in here which I want to explain now is to create point layer and make points and, and, and actually to draw points in the QGIS map area and then export that um, points uh, with their uh, coordinates. Okay, so let's see how you should do that. So you first head to layer, create layer and new shapefile layer. So I click on that. This window pops up, file name. You should again browse to your destination and select a name, pick a name. So I want draw points. Draw points and I click save. Then the geometry type in here is also important. I click on point. Additional dimensions, I do not want that. And then the projection also is important. I want to have it right here. And then you could have the new fields in here. You can have, uh, for example, the name. Okay, so um, you can add fields etc i do not want that i click ok so now i have a layer uh, made okay i have made uh, a shape file in here which doesn't have any information it just it's just an empty shape file i changed the color to red so that i can see that in the map and then you should you can see this pencil right here you click on that in order to uh, enter to editing mode okay so you turn on the editing mode then in here you can see add point feature i click on that option and now you can see my mouse is like this i can select anywhere in this map and make an id for it click ok and my point is created so it's so much useful you can browse to your study area and check wherever you want and for example let's say i want to have a point in the in the cross cross area of two streams i check there i did two okay so i have two points right now let's go for the third one so I want another one in here, the third point, and let's say that's it. I have all, uh, I have just three um, points. Okay, the next thing is to actually, so now I have those points in here. If I click, okay, so you can right click on the, on the layer, and go for save layer edits then you can go for you can click on this toggle editing and it will turn off okay so you have the the points in here and if you go for open attribute table you can see there is no information in here these points do not have any coordinate information okay so what should you do in order to add the coordinates to your points what you will do is to go for vector option in here then in geometry tools 
you go for add geometry attributes. Then you should select your input layer. It's okay. It's draw points layer. Then you can use calculating using these three uh, methods. It's okay. Layer CRC, CRS. And then uh, the other settings are okay. Click on run. Algorithm and geometry attributes finished. Okay, so it's finished. I close that. And in added geometry information layer, which is produced right now, if I click on that, okay, if you cannot see it again, I will change the the color to yellow and to maybe to red. Yeah, to red. And then resize it also so that you can see my dots better okay you can if if i right click on this new produced layer and i go for open attribute table you can see now i have x coordinate and y coordinate so that's made right now so now all i have to do is to export that layer in order to be able to keep that okay so i right click on that click on export save feature as and then um, this format is esri shape file which is okay i want to save as esri shape file format file name let's get into desktop and qgis points i was there already so i go for draw to save you just give a name okay it's not important then the crs is okay right now it's um wgs 84 UTM zone 40 north the other settings are fine you do not need to change them or edit them keep them as default and click OK. So another thing that I just forgot to tell you is that you can export these layers in um, other formats also. So it's Esri Shape File. It has a lot other um, format formats which you can go through, and also you can export them as layer definition file, which is another format breathable for qgis i can try that also so i will save it in here also you can go for save as qgis layer style file this is uh, other formats which you can use in order to export your your layer to but my own preference is as reshape file because it's it's so much common and you can use it in other um softwares like gis okay so that was just a quick note to add to this part so you can see my new layer is now added if i just remove all those layers and just keep the google hybrid satellite image if i go for layer add layer add vector layer and in here select what i have just made which was um draw to click open and add you could see my data is now added in here okay so it's a standalone um shape file for itself which you can add it to your qgis so i guess that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel we have uh, started to make QGIS tutorial videos so please keep updating with us 
uh, subscribe in order to and and ring the bell in order to understand whenever we upload new videos i will see you in the next video and bye have a good day